Good morning, good morning. So it's cold. It's uh, 18 degrees here in western Pennsylvania, northeast Ohio. And uh, the big question is, is when is it time to tap your trees? And maple farmers are funny. We all call each other. We're like a bunch of ninnies. Hey, did you tap? No, I didn't tap. I heard so-and-so tap. They tapped already? That's pretty much how the conversations are going with uh, the maple farmers right now. So, you know, I've been having these conversations and I'm like, you know, people might want to know for themselves. Now, hobby producers or home producers or serious homesteaders, um, it's just a little different because when you're using tubing, tubing, you get twice, not twice. I'd say if uh, you're using buckets or bags, your uh, syrup season is about four to five weeks. You know, you're gonna have 12 to 15 days of sap run in there. Uh, but if you're using tubing, you can stretch it out to about eight weeks. And the reason is bacteria. Um, when you put a spile in a tree, I still call them spiles, um, a spout, whatever you want to call them, uh, in a tree, then you use those spiles year over year, you're actually introducing bacteria. And uh, they're usually open air. So what will happen is, you know, the sugar there, the ants, the bugs, they're all like, hey, man, let's go check this out. And they do. And then the tree's like, whoa, what's going on here? Hey. And it starts to heal, just like you would if... Uh, you know, somebody was taking your blood so the sap bags the buckets you don't get as long of a season and with tubing your season's quite a bit longer because that tap hole it uh, stays sanitary longer because we're always pulling a vacuum it's really hard for something to get in the tubing let alone flow upstream against vacuum it just it doesn't it gives us a longer season. I and I was a guy that had 200 buckets, 300 buckets, and then we put 800 taps on vacuum, and then we went to 1,300 and 2,000, and just kept growing because maple syrup's a sick addiction, and um, kept growing the business. And um, yeah, so tubing, in my opinion, this is not a fact or a rule, but general rule of thumb is at about a thousand taps. You break even. What'd you just say? Garrett just had a brilliant idea. Okay. What do you got? Uh, hey, after we're done with this new section, the only thing we have left is there's one tree down on the red line that we need the chainsaw for. How about instead of coming to pick us up for lunch, you grab the chainsaw and the mule and meet us. Oh, where would be, where would he meet us? Probably... Uh, that trail that goes right down to the the pump house would probably be the closest part, closest place. I got you. Well, I did want to get some footage of you guys. I, what are you guys doing? So on that red, right now we're just fixing the laterals. Uh, uh, but then there's a, a dead tree fell over on that red line, kind of where it runs along the edge of that ridge. You know what I'm talking? It comes down those two draws and then goes across the hill over to the pump house. Yep. Yeah, right there where it comes across the hill, there's a giant dead tree on it. Three, I mean, it's touching two or three different places, so we'll have to cut that, probably try to roll it out of the way, and then that'll be done. And then the whole thing should be ready to tap. Definitely need to wear muck boots. The official tapping boot of Bissell Maple Farm. Bissell Maple Farm is not sponsored by anybody. I can tell you that. <clears throat> I'm 
sure that's Grace Vaughn. On a GoPro. So I changed boots. And from the Timberlands, switching over to the muck boots. I hate wet feet. So this is the most common and efficient way to run tubing that I know of. You want to regularly make a half a gallon of syrup per tap. You need what they call a wet and a dry line. And what that means is, is when it's dry, it means it's sending vacuum, which is a weird way to say it, but this gets vacuum to your taps. The liquid will actually drop. This is called a whip. The liquid will come down this line and it will separate with the gas. The liquid will follow this and head down that line down to the releaser, which my son broke and we need to replace. The vacuum will then travel this way. So this is basically where the liquid and the va vacuum part ways. This is called a saddle so this is where the sap on the lateral line will actually come down through so this is what the guys are doing so they're walking these lines and they are removing branches that fall off of the laterals or main lines in some cases so i'm gonna do that just to say i helped yep i helped today so i see their footprints and uh, let's see if we can find them. So we'll be tapping trees here shortly, but we use what they call a stubby. So every year we take the stubby out of the spout and we buy a disposable spout. And well, you can see there's a scar right here from where it had been tapped. This tree's only been tapped for two years. So this is probably last year's scar. And you want to stay away from this region until it, the tree has grown up all the way around it to where you can't see it. So we'll work our way around the tree in like five, six years. Uh, it is likely that that was last year's tap. So this is last year's tap. This is two years ago. So we will stay away from this side of the tree and probably tap over here. So. This is called a drop. The drop will come out and you want to be able to have access to any side of that tree. So we'll probably tap over here, drill a hole, and stick this stubby inside the spile. So we'll definitely get shots of tapping. It's getting time. See if I can find these boys. They're young and they have long legs. Hey, where you at? They're over here. All right. 
I'm gonna move this stick so I can say I helped today. I helped twice. What are you guys doing? You have showed up in the nick of time. This is the last line. The work's done? Yep. This is yes. the last line. So are you just pulling that tight because you don't like the tree leaning the other way? No, it was just really loose. I thought maybe you were trying to pull that tree to lean the other way. Yeah. Get it really tight. This is the last one. Yep. So how do you like the new tubing? The only thing I don't like about it... Oh, your oh, slide's you know on. I put on the wrong way. <laughs> You've done it's every okay. single slide right until the camera got here. Whoop, that happens. went in your pouch. Sometimes you're lucky and it just falls in the pouch. Usually when you're hitting it off like that, it goes like 500 feet over there. Yeah. Oh, crud. You got to hold the line. Yeah, I got it. You guys working today? <laughs> Hardly. <laughs> I said to Garrett. Nate's going to get here right when we get finished. Well, I, I helped. But there was two sticks on the lines, and I want you to know that I moved them off the lines. Okay. Thank you. Yeah, you I got said that. Nate's going to get here right as we're done. But don't get me wrong. I'm not going to get lollygag around so you can get footage of this. It's miserable out here today, and I'm not prolonging the agony any longer than I need to. I noticed you don't have gloves on. I did a minute ago. Huh. I didn't take them when off. When I got here, you had gloves on? Mm-hmm. Check the footage. Yeah. Hey, uh... Austin, when's a good time to tap? Ooh, when do you soon, think we should think. tap? What do you think? Are you still thinking? I like getting everybody's opinion because they're all different. So here's what I think. We start here on Wednesday, which would be the 14th, I believe. Um, get this woods out of the way. You guys cover a lot of ground, you young boys. Long Might have to go out here to the end. There you go. Cool. Yeah, and I hate to be the bearer of bad news. We may have to run that big one back to the shop. This is my dad's. Well, unless you don't have a wrench on you, do you? Yeah, so that chain looks a little sloppy. Chain needs a little more tension. Yeah. A lot more tension. Oh, perfect. Look at you. I was over here trying to screw around and do it with my multi tool. That's what my brother has. He has a farm boss. He really likes it. That's what we run at home. Not farm bosses, but we run all steels. Yeah. And they don't really, they've never really given us an issue. Are we sure this is mixed? I think so. It says mix on there. Does it? it does say two cycle mix, but I'm paranoid. So. Yep, blue. Screw this up every time. It's really off there, bud. Oh. There we go. Oh man. Um, so Dude. game plan. We're gonna drop out that side tie, that side tie, probably the next one in that direction, and then that one there. I think that'll give us the. So you're gonna actually uh, release the side ties. Mm -hmm. To the take, tension. take so, the tension off. When we string that high tensile wire to install, we put it, usually we put a ratchet on the end. That ratchet's not to make it nice and tight. That's just to get it close, and then you tighten it with your side ties. So we're pulling to that tree. So you're saying the main line here is tightened by side tie wire. Uh -huh. Man. The idea is, if you tighten it with a ratchet, a tree falls on it, you're screwed. You just have that tree sitting on your tensioned high tensile wire. Unless you want to go clear to the end, let it out, and it's never going to tighten back up even. Now, 
we pop that side tie, the next one there, this one here, and the next one past it. This the pipe will lay right on the ground. There's yeah. no tension on the wire. You know then, what happens when you cut logs when there's tension on the wire? Yeah, they go flying. They probably hit They're you in the face. Flying right at your face. Yeah. Ask me how I know. <laughs> <laughs> now even after we get all the tension off this, it's still gonna be a fun one. Hey, be careful when you're doing this. Oh you guys, yeah. You guys haven't had the chainsaw safety course yet. Thing is, there's so much weight on this line, you can't push it in. You won't have to. You undo that wire, it'll do the rest. So I wouldn't stand on that side of it if I was you. Now for this one, I think we're both going to have to. I'll hold against it. And you go ahead and undo the the wire. You're gonna have to get on the other side of me here. When we redo this, let's do this side tie a little better. Oh, okay. Good thing you weren't on that side. Yeah, that's why we stand on this side of the wire. If I can get this to come down, then I'll be happy. Oh, yeah. I can live with that. cutting it down there as I'm going right over the main line. I just don't like making cuts that even get close to the main line. Yeah, because it makes hard more work for me later. Actually, yeah, whatever. Not anymore. It's gonna... It makes more work for you, Austin. Exactly. That's why you're over. I don't care. Just saw right through it. <laughs> it's good television. Okay. Wow, this is a bad place to stand. You want to do it from this side? Not uh, really. Could come rolling down back there. That last cut that I made down there, it started sliding. Every time you hear a, a sound like that, it makes you pucker. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Dang saw.
What's wrong? Okay, never mind. As soon as that came loose, that log shifted. I felt it hit my backside. I was like, I might need somebody to come grab this. I think we can move it now. Garrett. We can try. Oh, you're going downhill. You also moved that end downhill. enough, I might be able to cut it again. Maybe you should saw this. That little guy. That That's little what I think. Alright, well watch yourselves. I'm gonna cut this down here okay. and then we'll see if we can maybe See if we can get it. There's still at least one more cut we have to make before the thing's completely free, but. All right, everybody watch out. Hold on, Garrett, I'm gonna get back there with you. Okay, all right. And make sure you don't lean too far over because this main line is probably gonna come bouncing probably gonna up. Come up. You're right. All right. Get over here. Tell me when you're ready. That log's probably gonna move as soon as you get that one going. Oh, you're right, hold up, Garrett. Let's think this through. Where's that going to go as soon as it... Yeah. It's coming on and you... you tip it over? Can you guys tip that one Maybe. It's pretty... I never was any good at pickup sticks. It's going to let loose. Push it. Keep doing that. Okay, ready? One, two, three. Oh, oh yeah. One more. Okay. Now, um... Look at that. He's Tell almost got it. You did it. Okay, now. We just got to get this to stay. I think I want it like this so I can cut it again. Okay. Can you stay away up here and hold on to this? Hold on to what? This right here. Okay. Just keep it just like it is. Okay. As I fall down the hill. Now this one. Oh, oh boy. You gonna be able to keep it? Hey, why don't you guys just let it fall back and get that flip that one back over the line too just like you just gonna, did i don't know if i'll be able to get in a cutter i think it's going to pinch me funny if i no no no. i'm uh just take it and let it roll down the hill just like you did the other one. Oh, good luck with that i don't think it's going to come sure looks like it's about to roll well let me get out of the way here watch out <laughs> yeah maybe you're right Tell you what, Jake. take it from the top and spin her around yeah Grab it right up here. Let's go on the other side. Push it. Ready? Yep. Okay. Well, that's going to run into the river. I think if we keep pivoting. Okay. 
too. Yeah, okay. It's not super heavy. I just can't get it. Yeah, there's no leverage. There we go. One more good throw and it's off. You might be able to get it. No. Hold on. Yep. Okay, watch your step because it's gonna come. I'm gonna try to keep a foot on the main line, keep it down. Okay. Okay. Actually, me standing on the main line is not gonna work. Okay. <laughs> it's just gonna come up funny. All right, I got it, Garrett. I got it. Stand clear. Okay. Oh, that was going to be cooler if it worked. I know. Tell you what, you put a foot over there. Where? On the main line right there. Maybe with two of us on it. You know, I'd help you, but somebody has to film this. <laughs> Okay, it's about to come out. Okay, watch your. Okay. Oh, yeah, there. And that is the easy, simple way. Ah, oh, son of a gun. To just free up a main line. Simple wow. as that. No, just simple. That's one. We got another one. We got to move over. Today. Oh, you got one over here. That little guy there. Yeah, that should be simple. Probably doesn't even touch, does it? There we go. Okay. Good and clear. Pick it up. <laughs> ah, there's always one more. Is there another log down there? It's just that little stick, but it's still connected. Oh, okay. Okay. All right, all we gotta do now is put those side ties back on. Yep. We probably gotta move these ones down here up the tree a little bit. This is a tough one. Yeah. Side hill like that. And... It's just a tough one. I mean, look at the slope. I mean, it's gotta be like perfect. I just usually put try to put the uh, side ties right back on the trees where they were. Yeah, there should be a good mark we can see. To... I didn't see any break in the line. Mm -mm. I don't think the tree broke I'll find it. a chainsaw mark as soon as the vacuum drops <laughs> all right i'm gonna leave you guys okay